you're crazy, this is crazy, and the bar is like three miles away. So, so, so that's it for me. No, that's what, Lance, you get, Lance, get back. Lance, get coming, you always do this. Whenever we get within banging distance of what you want, you just shut down and you quit. Oh, I'm getting lightheaded. Like, you just give up, I, I don't get it. Look, we parked the car, and now let's park your man me between Sam's thighs. I have an interview in the morning. I want to get enough rest before my test. No, you're just using it as an excuse. No. All you have to do is prove you can drive. Yeah, what is that? It's so beneath me. What, survival is beneath you? No, proving I can drive. You know, maybe this is like the universe's way of telling me that I should just pack it up and move home. You just do you. Move, what? I'm gonna get What grab, am I gonna do without you? I'm, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Let's talk later. Call me. Wait, hold up. You'd rather live with your mom than drive for a living? Maybe. What kind of an actor do you think you'll be living in Oregon? I'm not an actor, I'm a writer. I've never seen any of your scribbles. I have things, they're in the development phase. What, like a, like a novel? No. Like a screenplay? No. Like a, like a play play? Is it a play play? You write a play play? Play play. Oh, I know. It's probably a sick ass web series. I haven't decided yet. Oh, blowing up. Why, hello there, my little break room contamination partner. I'm gross. So I go further down the alley. And after my eyes adjust, I begin to see an outline of someone dressed all in black, taking deep breaths. We stare at each other. The only thing between us is that light. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I move towards the guy and he takes something shiny from his waist. A knife. For the first time in my life, I am really scared. This guy means to kill me. He could kill me. He starts to come at me and then he stops. Frozen. I was so focused on this guy that I didn't see Cooper follow me out. His, his deep growl and sharp teeth are why this guy is having second thoughts. Now it's Cooper and this guy, staring at each other, waiting for the other to make the first move. It's Cooper who attacks first. But before he can get him, the man hops up no defense. I run back into the house to check on Julie. But she isn't in the living room. So I check the kitchen, but instead of her, I find that the knife I was using to chop is missing. And the back door is swinging open. Where is the diamond? Why are you here, detective? I agreed to help the department in exchange to be left alone. You found nothing. You investigated me. I'm clean. You and I both know you're lying. <laughs> I like you, detective. You're simple. You see a world divided by bright lines. I see the good and the bad. See? So, detective, what am I? I don't know. Tell me why you're here, detective, and I'll give you what you want. Joking? I thought it was a nice touch. Lady, your touch is a sledgehammer. Honey, you haven't seen nothing yet. I'll pop up the diamond and I will arrest you. Prison? At least I'll be surrounded by real men. Give me the diamond. Cop me. You wish. Give me the diamond. I don't have it. I need the diamond. I lost Tell it. Tell me where it is. Go fish. Give me the fucking diamond! Better, baby, don't tell me what you really want. Wouldn't you 
like to know? I would, listen. I thought we were alone. No, really, stop it, Rebecca. This is making me feel very uncomfortable. Really? Well, maybe you should go then, just leave. I think I've gone a little far for that. Just don't let them in. Jeez, honey, calm down. Look, I know you're new at this, but I promise you're gonna love it. I don't know Rebecca. No. Trust me.